Dr. Peter Atia just posted this video all about supplements, creatine, fish oil, vitamin D, and beyond. It received 116,000 views 11 days ago. And I want to talk about his section on creatine. He said some really interesting things that I generally agree with. I, I do agree with, but I, I, would, I want to play with you a few different clips and unpack them. I would put this in the low risk, modest reward um, category. We do have, I think, really robust safety data here, and it looks good. Um, if the muscle stores are already full, the liver is probably going to metabolize the delta. The kidneys will clear the excess. He talks about um, that individuals with high creatinine should maybe either not supplement with creatine or take lower dosages of creatine. I will just say there was only one study, uh, and this was, I believe, in the early 2000s, maybe it's mid-2000s, where an individual went to a primary care, I think it was an internal medicine doctor or something, this was written up in Annals of Internal Medicine, I think, and this individual had a pretty high serum creatinine level. And the doctor was like, well, you know, are you taking any medications? What about supplements? And he was taking, I think, 10 grams or so of creatine per day. And... Uh, purportedly the doctor, uh, the physician told them to stop taking the creatine and maybe his creatinine went down a little bit. Um, I, I, I haven't seen a lot of really negative side effects with people taking creatine in terms of increasing their same creatinine. Um, it, it could be from other kidney issues. It could be protein in the diet. Remember, if you eat you know, red meat, you eat fish, you're going to get creatine uh, in that. But here's what he says, which is really interesting. Remember, We've been promoting creatine with, we're one of the first companies in the world to come out with a high dose creatine electrolyte combination. And it was nice to hear Dr. Atia say this at the end of his discussion on creatine. Creatine monohydrate really is the version to take. I don't even know if they sell anything else. They used to sell a creatine phosphate a long time ago. I don't think that there's anybody selling that anymore. I don't think it matters. Um, but again, there's just no evidence that, that you need to be uh, taking anything other than creatine monohydrate. Um, it's wildly inexpensive, and you should be looking for the purest uh, product only that has nothing in it. The only ingredient should be creatine monohydrate. No fillers, no extra ingredients, uh, unless there's some flavoring agent that you want. But again, uh, I just mix this in with an electrolyte drink. Hmm. Let's hear that one more time. But again... Uh, I just mix this in with an electrolyte drink, so I want nothing in other than the creatine monohydrate in the sample. Okay, now you might be saying, well, why is he saying that? Well, obviously Dr. Artia knows that in order to get creatine into your muscle tissue, you need electrolytes, sodium, potassium, magnesium. And so I think, again, not enough people really recognize this. They take creatine, they put it in their coffee in the morning on an empty stomach. In terms of getting creatine into your working skeletal muscles, you wanna have it either intra-workout, like during your exercise sessions, or post-workout, or if you're not going to consume it around foods, you definitely want to have it with electrolytes. And so just small plug, that's what we do here at Myoscience. He mentioned you want pure creatine monohydrate. We're one of the only companies that's working with CreaPure from Allschem over in Germany. So this is a highly purified material. Most creatine monohydrates on the market are importing the 80% material from China. It doesn't taste good. It doesn't blend as good. Um, it's hard to trust really some of the raw materials that are coming in from the different parts of the world, but the folks over at Allschem, I personally know them, I talk to them uh, weekly, uh, really highly purified material. And that's what I suggest you look for at a bare minimum. But if you wanna save, you can use the code podcast over at myoscience.com. Again, I think more companies are catching on to this. And I I've seen people in the comments say, well, I just take LMNT, then I take this creatine. You're paying like 80 bucks a month for that, my friends, that's the thing. So you can mix and match all these things, your favorite electrolyte with creatine, or you can just get one that's already done for you, right? And so that's uh, under 40 bucks a month, 30 servings, or especially the jar or the unflavored jar option over at myoscience.com. You're getting that all in one. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to mix and match uh, and do that. So it's ready to go, my friends. So what are your thoughts on creatine? Uh, there are other materials on the market. Um, a creatine product that came out in the early 2000s was known as Crealkaline. It's made by a company um, in Montana here, actually. And it was supposed to be of, of a more of a, a buffered creatine. The research on that is pretty not so good. Um, there's a creatine monohydrate product on the market known as Creabev. And so a lot of companies that are selling 
ready to drink creatine products or like a, a goo. There's a, a company, I can't remember their name, but they're in Southern California. They have a Creabev thing. Symbiotica is what it is. I don't know where that material is made. Uh, I'm not really sure about that, but I, I, I've, I'm i more impressed just working in with my bare hands with a raw material um, from Germany. Uh, literally, you can see a difference. I mean, that's it's, I'm telling you because I've literally looked at the raw material side by side. It's like, wow, there is a difference here. Uh, a much more purified material. And they also sell a micronized creatine as well, which we're going to be offering very soon. But that's what I suggest, my friends. It was just cool to hear Dr. Otia talk about that. Hey, he pairs his creatine with electrolytes. It's like, I wish more people would consider that. So Peter, thank you for uh, helping to sh spread this awareness. I mean, we've been beating this drum for a long time because there's actually research. There's you know studies uh, in athletes finding that when you uh, enhance creatine with magnesium, potassium, sodium, uh, that they have better sports uh, performance when they're preparing that with creatine, with creatine during exercise. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. My friends, appreciate you tuning all the way in. Thanks for your likes, your comments, your shares. We'll catch you in a future video down the road.